Here a case of white dense cataract. As usual, after staining the anterior capsule, I used double rexes technique with depressurizing intralenticular pressure in order to avoid the Argentinian flag sign. Then, using vertical chop technique for this dense cataract, you can see now the nucleus has been chopped inside the capsule into smaller pieces then emulsifying each piece alone as it's clear after emulsifying this dense cataract cleaning the cortex using the bimanual irrigation aspiration then implanting single piece hydrophobic IOL inside the capsular bag now watch carefully while washing the OVD I go through the main incision slightly into the anterior chamber angle I think at this step I uh, make a minor trauma into the angle then I complete washing the OVD from the anterior chamber and behind the IOL and now while Doing gentle irrigation inside the anterior chamber, you can see the bleeding into the anterior chamber from the same side that I uh, made the trauma. Now you can see the bleeding from the angle. You can see now it's clear, and also the blood dispersed inside the anterior chamber. I complete thromal hydration for the paracentesis and also for the main incision, trying to increase the intraocular pressure. You can see now the bleeding at the white arrow. So now, what is the next step to deal with this condition? It is important to elevate the intraocular pressure and to wait for a few minutes to give time for stop of bleeding you can see now the bleeding at the white arrow now i am injecting air bubble inside the anterior anterior chamber in order to elevate the eye pressure and i wait for about five minutes then i go by manually to remove the bleeding gently trying not do any turbulence inside the anterior chamber but you can see the bleeding didn't stop then I keep the irrigation inside the anterior chamber and I complete stromal hydration for the paracentesis as it's clear now in order to elevate the eye pressure and to, to prevent any leak by the end of the surgery again stromal hydration for the second paracentesis but you, you can see the bleeding didn't stop i inject intra cameral adrenaline and at this point you can see now injecting adrenaline i see that the bleeding is stopped then i inject air bubble inside the anterior chamber in order to elevate the eye pressure as it's clear some surgeon advise to inject adrenaline diluted adrenaline now you can see the bleeding is stopped i leave this air bubble inside the anterior chamber with modifying the iop by the end of the surgery and be sure there is no leak you can see the bleeding is stopped and testing the leak through the paracentesis and the main incision and thank you for watching